All right, if you did your rain dance, good job. It has actually rained over the last 24 hours. Good evening, everyone. Eric Wilhelm here with Weather for Weather Geeks. And, you know, uh, it's been a very remarkably dry stretch of weather, taking us back through the second half of summer. And today is a day unlike you know, any day that we've had for quite a while now, as of the issuance of the uh, climate report at about uh, 5.30 this afternoon, 0.65 at the Youngstown Warren Airport. That number probably higher at this point because we've had more showers since that point. And of course, today, easily the wettest day of September. We only had two other days in which we had measurable rain at the airport this month. It was 0.18 on the 4th and 0.03 back on the 6th. And just for uh, September, we're running a deficit still of over two inches. That deficit, of course, even bigger when you factor in late July and into August. Some unofficial readings across the area, taking a look at some personal weather station data here. We're, we're closing in on an inch down towards Calcutta, Glenmore, East Liverpool, Latonia 0.88, uh, up on the rooftop here at uh, WFMJ 0.48 in the gauge up there. Those are some uh, local rain gauges that up can upload their data to the internet. Uh, some radar estimates here and near the uh, Mahoning, Lawrence County line, 1.65. Between Salem and Ellsworth, uh, Damascus area, Beloit and uh, Sebring, a lot of places out there, uh, up over an inch worth of rain. And some parts of Mercer County have, have done pretty well. As you can see, though, there is a little bit of a variation here, uh, a variance, I should say, with how much rain you've seen over the last 24 hours. Now, as of this recording here in the 7 o'clock hour, we're going to be in a little bit of a lull here around sunset. The showers that we had for a lot of the afternoon and very early this evening pushing away, but there's more rain off to the west. This little uh, dry interval won't last that long. Some rain uh, pushing through uh, parts of uh, Holmes County, Medina County, out into uh, uh, places west of Akron and Canton right now, west of I-77. That's pushing in, I think, as we head towards 9 o'clock or so. Now, the big heavy thunderstorms, uh, down in southern Ohio are probably going to miss us for the most part, but it's been a pretty noisy few hours down here across uh, areas south of Interstate 70. There's been several severe thunderstorm and even tornado warnings with this line moving east of Cincinnati and south of Columbus. So this is bearing down on Parkersburg, Marietta, the Athens area. And as you can see, there's a, still a handful of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings with some tornado warning possible or tornado possible tags, I should say, on some of that activity because occasionally this has been trying to rotate. But again, I think that severe weather risk is staying to our south. Now, it's been a big change in the air mass, of course, over the last 48 hours. We had a long stretch of not only rain-free weather, but low dew points as well. And we haven't had dew points like this very often in recent weeks. And, you know, by mid-September standards, this is pretty pretty muggy stuff. Our dew point locally is 65. This air mass is not going to change much for the next couple of days. Now, as far as how much rain to expect over the next 48 hours, um, some region-wide averages here based on our computer modeling, probably averaging somewhere between a half an inch and two inches, and I think a good average will be right around an inch when you factor in these models and some of the other models we look at as well. A, a region-wide average of an inch, but you know your mileage is certainly going to vary. Some of us have had already an inch, to inch, inch and a half today. Uh, some of us have not had that much, but over the next 48 hours, everyone has a, a chance anyway of seeing another inch or so worth of needed rainfall. Now, speaking of rainfall, and after a scattering of showers Tuesday, Wednesday, we have a better chance of perhaps some heavier rain trying to push back in before the day is through. So the Weather Prediction Center, WPC, with their flash flood risk product today, did put out a medium risk of flash flooding, encompassing a lot of the Buckeye State, parts of West Virginia as well. It's a low-end risk outside of that, but yeah, we have a chance of some downpours before Wednesday is through, that is for sure. I don't think we see a lot of downpours on Tuesday, though. Um, it'll be an unsettled day with a shower here and there, um, some sunny breaks developing as we go into the afternoon. Uh, watch for some fog setting up. I think this could be some locally dense fog late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Some moisture on the ground, the sky may clear temporarily for a time Tuesday night, so as you head out the door Wednesday morning, fog may be a concern. Midday and afternoon, pretty cloudy, and I think the rain's going to try to push back in as a more organized area of low pressure scoots up the Ohio River Valley. So it may rain at a pretty good clip as we head towards Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And then we're back to maybe a scattered shower regime 
for Thursday with more clouds than sunshine. Now, we're going to hang on to the chance for showers through Friday, but by Friday, it's not much more than a stray sprinkle or a shower. I think we'll be in pretty good shape for high school football Friday evening. And after that, no rain chances for the weekend. It should be a very nice weekend. Maybe some fog concerns again for Saturday morning, but otherwise sunshine in abundance for the final weekend of September. And I'll tell you, the models are looking pretty dry next week. We're going to head back into a pretty dry pattern, I think, wrapping up September and heading to into the first week of October. Um, below average precipitation favored during that first week of the month. I also think the first week of the month will be pretty warm compared to the average. It looks like we're going to finish September on a mild note, and we're going to start October on a mild note. Um, our averages are falling quickly at this time of the year. So 10 days from now, on October 2nd, our average high is 68 degrees, so a 74 degree day is 6 degrees above the average. Um, so yeah, each of the next 10 days likely to be warmer than the average by some margin. And I think this trend will probably take us through at least the first week of October. There may be some changes, some cooler trends towards the second week of October, but right now the information would suggest that we're going to hang on to this pretty balmy pattern through that first week of the month, and again, after an unsettled week this week, uh, we get a, another pretty long break, I think, from the wet weather as we head into next week. That'll do it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks on this Monday evening. Thanks as always for watching. Uh, if you're up late tonight, check out the uh, newscast, 21 News at 11 o'clock. I'll have... Uh, some radar snapshots and a recap of all the rain totals from today. And if you're an early morning riser, check out Jody White's forecast tomorrow morning on WFMJ Today starting at 5 a.m.